Hello, universe. Hello, world. I am Jasmine Carter, and I am a teacher in Halifax County. And we are coming to you right now from the Center for Energy Education, located in Halifax County as well. I am Ligaya Aguas, a teacher from William R. Davey Middle STEM Academy. For those who are not familiar with the word STEM, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Today, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about STEM in a bag. And our goal for the STEM in a bag is for us to continue giving you instructions, even though you are staying at home and away from us, your teachers. So, let's start with exactly what we will have in our first project. So, the first project that we have is... Hmm, make a car, not just any car, make a car that is wind powered using a balloon. All right, and for today, we would like to introduce to you the materials that you can use in creating a car that moves. The materials that you will need to create this project are the following. A foam board for the body of the car. But if you don't have a foam board readily available, you could use a water bottle like this one, or even just a box. You will also need metal bars or metal rods for your axle, and of course, the wheel of the car. Yes, and there's also an alternative for that too. We don't have those all the time at home. So maybe some little straws from juice boxes or coffee stirrers maybe. And you could also use bottle top. So we have some bottle tops. Doesn't matter what size. You will be needing also straws. The straws will be the one to hold your metal rods. Okay, and also, what else do we have that we might need? Okay, you may need tapes to hold the metal rods in place some glue dots, and also rubber bands and balloons. The balloons are needed to power your car. Vroom, vroom. Okay, so. You may want to be creative by coloring your car. I would need a lot of color. Okay. At the end, Okay, we also need the journal notebook because as scientists, you need to write it down. If you would like to design a car, probably you may start drawing and... Yeah, it's kind of like the engineering design process. All right. All right, so yes, you will take note. You can even take pictures as you go so that you'll have a document you can come back later to look at and show off to your friends on how well you did. Okay. We also have a simple prototype for the car that you might want to create. Now we give you the challenge. We want you to be creative and imaginative in creating this project. Yes, you are now the engineer. You're going to put that engineering cap on and get to it. Using these supplies or the supplies like you have at home, readily available, maybe not. Go outside, have some fun, look for stuff. Take the challenge. Go, go, go. Yes, make the best car you can. I'm ready to see what you have. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to have Miss Aguas, and she's going to show you, demonstration, how to put together a balloon-powered car. And I'm ready. Yeah, me too. Miss Aguas has her foam board that is cut to five inches by four inches. She also has a straw and a metal rod that is five inches. The straw is slightly shorter. Okay. She inserts the metal through the straw, okay. leaving a little leeway on both sides so you can see that the actual axle, as we're going to call it, will move through the straw. She then has to assemble a wheel that will consist of a rubber ring and a plastic center that will represent the rim. So now you have a rim and a tire put and together. And this one will be the wheel and axle. 
Yes, once it's assembled, you'll have the axle and the wheel. Okay, Miss Aquas is now going to attach the axle to the foam board. She's going to do that by using a piece of tape about one inch long. And make sure that this one is attached to the straw. It will be attached to the metal bar. You might not get any movement from your car. Okay. Oh, I see when you spin that, that it went around and around and around. And the other one should be on the opposite side of the foam board. And look, they have to be even so that it will move on a straight line. Oh, okay, so now they are freely able to spin when you spin them. So if you flip that over and put it down, does the car move? Sure. Oh, it moved, it rolled. Once you are done with the assembly, you may want to add colors or you might want to put some designs to your car. Okay, it is important that you Put the design or paint, or whatever it is that you would like to put before you add the balloons to power your car. Before the final assembly, we needed to decorate the car. We needed to put the paint or the color so that it will dry before we put the other materials. Okay, we have the final assembly. So at this point, we need to power up the car. So we need straw and balloon and a piece of small rubber band. It is important that you you are done with your painting or coloring before you put the balloon and the straw. This balloon and the straw will be the source of energy to power your car. Okay. Now, I need a tape to hold it in place. So we can tape it here and at the center. Oh, okay, so it's in the center of the body of the car. Now, okay, this project is rela related to Newton's law of motion. Okay. That for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Oh. So, I know, can't you just sit it down and still just push it? No. Oh. It is important that it moves on its <laughs> own. Oh, it has to move by itself. Okay. Are you ready to see it? I'm now? ready. All right. Let's see. Now you have to hold it here so that the air will not come out. Are you ready, Jasmine? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, let's it's see if it go. moves. Three. Ah! It moves. It moves. Okay, you see? So this one, this project applies the Newton's law of motion. Yeah. If the, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Okay. So as the as the air of the okay, of the balloon comes out and pushes this way, your and car moves, moves towards, towards that way. Ah. This is how you create a balloon powered car. And now we challenge you to make your own creation. Oh, okay. And you know what? I am going to use this. I have a six-year-old at home and she will have a blast. Great. Not only me, but you all out there, please make sure. Go ahead. Do this at home. Make one of these cars. And not only that, hashtag mm -hmm. STEM in a bag. Post it on your social media so we all can see your yes. excellent, awesome, awesome, terrific. I would like can to you see think you more in your creation. Work? Okay. We would like to thank you for staying with us and I hope you learned from this simple demonstration. I am Ligaya Aguas. And I am Jasmine Carter. And, and we, we would like, like to challenge you to create, create your, your own balloon-powered car. car.